Yeah, hi. Um, good afternoon, Hanoi. Xin chào. Yeah, so this is my first time in Vietnam. I'm just trying to uh, understand a little bit of uh, Vietnamese as well. Uh, but it's been very good um, till now. Um, so today, uh, I have just 10 minutes. I'll try to explain as much as I can. But I'm here throughout the event. And you know, you can feel free to interact with me uh, off the stage. Uh, today, I'm going to explain about Avail, which is uh, the new project that I'm uh, working on. Uh, and I, we've used Substrate for our stack, so I'll just try to get in a little bit of detail on why we use that um, as well. Uh, before uh, getting into the uh, meat of the topic, right? like uh, some context about me. Um, uh, I founded Polygon back in 2017. Um, and we started Avail within Polygon uh, in late 2020. Uh, and just recently in March, uh, 2023, we've uh, spun a whale out of Polygon to become a completely separate independent uh, uh, project. Uh, and, you know, like my colleague Prabal also joined me as co-founder who was the research lead and, you know, like the entire team of Avail which is working for uh, Avail within Polygon has moved over. Uh, so that's kind of the rough history. Uh, so what is really Avail, right? Like, I mean, and um, so some context, I mean, this is more coming from a very Ethereum specific uh, uh, ecosystem, but I will try, and this is, I know this is a Polkadot ecosystem crowd, but I will try to get into some detail or some context uh, on why we are building, what we are building, what is the context. Um, so in general, uh, what is happening in, uh, in the world of blockchain, especially on the Ethereum side, uh, Polkadot has been on this journey since some time. So if you see Polkadot, it's like a relay chain with a lot of parachains on top. Uh, so you can think of the relay chain as the base layer and the parachains uh, as the chains uh, executing on top. And a similar thing ha has been happening in Ethereum land. Uh, so what is happening is Ethereum, the core mon uh, blockchain isn't as scalable and so what developers have done is structured Ethereum more as a base layer and moved execution onto rollups. And so if you must have heard of rollups like Arbitrum, Optimism, even Polygon, ZK EVM, ZK Sync, Starkware and others. And so basically Ethereum is also getting more modular or blockchains in general are getting more modular. So if you see the architecture of uh, a typical blockchain, there are three uh, main um, layers. One is an execution layer, one is a data availability layer, and then there's a finality or a settlement uh, kind of construct. And as we speak in Polkadot, in Ethereum, uh, in other ecosystems, what is happening is these layers are becoming modularized. So the execution is getting uh, demarketed into a separate layer, and uh, the base layer is looking at doing, let's say, things like data availability. And for rollups, for example, if you see the last line there, right, like rollups specifically as an Ethereum uh, uh, scaling solution, uh, they want, they're hungry for data availability. And so that's what, you know, like base layers are really going to focus on in the future. Uh, not execution, but data availability because rollups focus on the execution part. And so this is, you know, like um, uh, this bold statement I'm, you know, kind of trying to make is that every base layer blockchain going forward is going to be a DA layer because data availability is going to be scarce. Execution is scalable primarily because we have now identified newer techniques in zero knowledge validity uh, proofs, for example, and recursive proofs. And so, you know, execution is becoming much more scalable, but data availability uh, is still something we need to optimize for. And so given that context, right, like what is Avail? Um, so Avail is this um, uh, base modular chain that does not do any execution. It does not have any smart contracts. It only focuses on data availability. Um, and what it does is outsources rollups, uh, execution to the rollups on top. And so Ethereum is also going to go uh, in that direction, but it's taking just a lot of time. It will uh, necessarily require a lot of time for Ethereum to pivot. And you might have heard of dank sharding that is coming, for example. And so that will be available in a few years. But 
we believe that uh, base layers that provide scalable data availability are the uh, real reason. And I will not get too deep into um, what avail is because it's, it gets slightly technical here. But essentially we use this, you know, like on the technology front, we use this combination of erasure coding, KZG polynomial commitments, and, and a very novel technique called data availability sampling uh, that allows us to kind of run these DA light clients uh, that can, you know, like uh, get a very high probabilistic guarantee of the data availability without really having to download all the blocks. Um, and uh, this is a bit, um, again, technical, um, but I will try to quickly, you know, like kind of give you explanation of what is happening. Uh, so we don't do any execution at the base layer. And so uh, what we do is erasure code. Like, so rollups are, do are doing the execution on top. They submit the data to the base layer avail, and they do this erasure coding. So if you see the original data, erasure coded in the extended data, and we create, you know, kind of we um, create polynomial commitments from this data, and then we package that into the header, which gets then propagated to all the validators who come to consensus on the uh, on the base layer. Uh, so I, I'm just glossing over the technical details, uh, but this is, I mean, I can, I'll, I'll provide this slide. Um, uh, it will be pro available online if you want to have a look at it. But you know, like, feel free to go through our blog for more technical detail. Uh, but essentially, you know, like, this is what we do on the uh, block production process. Yeah. Now, coming to the slide where you know, like, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, why we kind of ended up using Substrate. Like, so in general, when we uh, when I when we were building Polygon POS uh, back in the day. Uh, we used Tendermint uh, to power one of the nodes called Himdal. And so we had good experience using Tendermint. But when we started uh, Avail in 2020, we were looking at what uh, ready-made blockchain frameworks could be used to power um, uh, Avail. And so Avail is used build, built using Substrate because it provides a very uh, serious, seriously great uh, engineering. It's pretty. Uh, the the code is pretty well engineered, and there are a lot of good things that we get uh, get to take away from that. Uh, some of these, um, and so, and I just want to like to confirm, right? Like, so Avail is not a para chain in that sense. Avail is a uh, independent chain, but it is built using Substrate. Um, and in general, we have had great experience building uh, Substrate. It's, it's written in Rust. It's pretty modular. And we are able to kind of use a lot of the functionality that is available out of the box. So f some of the things that we kind of uh, use from Substrate, right? Again, from all the consensus mechanisms available, we use Grandpa and Babe. And because it provides like a great uh, hybrid ledger design, right? Like so we have Babe as the main block production engine. Uh, and we have Grandpa as the finality gadget. And so we get this very nice property uh, for the network, which kind of is tolerant against, you know, like large amount number of nodes crashing. Uh, we also are going to use the nominated proof of stake, uh, which is used by Polkadot. Um, and so that really helps us provide uh, this wide stake distribution. So if you look at blockchains today, um, and even you know, like I, I you know, we I, we built Polygon POS, but if you see the stake distribution on Polygon POS is skewed towards the you know, like the um, higher like eight to ten or uh, twelve number of validators. Uh, and what Polkadot has really done well in this case is that if you see the entire validator set of 297, I think on Polkadot, the stake distribution is pretty uniform because nomination allows you to kind of spread the uh, uh, state funds across a pool of validators and not necessarily uh, uh, a one particular validator you can delegate to. And so that is why, you know, like we chose uh, this. We could also, one thing we get out of Substrate is also that, you know, we are able to have up to a thousand validators eventually. And so that's great for decentralization in general. Uh, so that's, that's a lot, lot of the reason. Of course, there's a lot of other reasons why we use Substrate. Uh, but this, uh, let's just keep it uh, uh, short for now. I mean, before going, I just want to also tell you uh, one more feature of the uh, Avail network, which is this uh, very novel light line network. And the, 
this these are da light lines which you know like um to give like a mental picture right like this is you can think of like the avail base layer and then there is a light client network which will eventually we envision will go to millions of light lines uh and and one of the things that you know like we i wanted to uh, when i was coming to vietnam was meet with the sub wallet team uh to embed one of these light lines into the wallet uh and so we envision that these light lines that verify the you know like the da and eventually the state of the blockchain you can use this light lines embedded in the wallet itself to verify the state of the blockchain which is actually a great feature uh that we need to do for you know like more and more decentralization um and these are some of the technical details we can um again you can you know like uh, get it from the uh, uh, slides that i i will share um it's built in rust and these are some performance characteristics of uh, but i'll not get too deep into this and broadly this is this is the kind of chains uh, that we uh, envision that will be built on avail so avail itself is not a execution focused chain it is primarily a chain that has other chains as customers other execution focused chains as customers primarily roll ups and these are some of the types of roll ups that we are uh, already starting to see development stage right now so we've been building this since uh, november 2020 we've uh, spun out of polygon in march in june we did our second long running testnet uh, which is already 70 plus external validators on it and we are ramping that number to 200 with adding uh, 130 more and we are adding uh, support for like you know we want to scale to 5000 plus uh, light lines on the network we are doing one more incentivized testnet in the third quarter and our mainnet target is currently end of this year or early q1 um, uh, next next year uh, i i'll skip over this uh, yeah so i think these are these are some of the important slides you know like you can visit our website um, and um, you know like go through our code our docs for example our blogs uh, this is a qr code to our uh, uh, website and we are also hiring so please feel free to look our, uh, at our careers page yeah it was absolute pleasure talk, talking to you guys and i look forward to interacting with you thank you